So, it's been a while. The question is today, since when did the hard thing, the hard things, become the wrong things? Since when did all of a sudden doing something that's hard, not easy, not comfortable, become the very thing we ought not do? Sometimes those things that take the most work are the most rewarding. And yet, it almost seems like we're told to shy away from those things. Don't do that which is hard. Don't do that which is consuming of time. That's uncomfortable. I gotta believe that's kind of a lie. Because some of the greatest things that you'll ever do, the most rewarding things are gonna be the hardest things. How about this as a principle? I said, how, 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 how is it that uh, doing that which is hard is shied away from, basically. Kind of go with the flow. Folks want to take the, the easy road. Uh, but it's funny because doing that which is right, practicing righteousness, doing that which is right is typically going to be against the grain. It's typically going to be, not always, but it's going to be that thing that takes way more effort than just going with the flow. Going with the flow, that's easy. Are you going with the flow? Are you going with the flow? Or are you willing to do that which is hard because you're not willing to compromise. You're not willing to go along to get along. You want, you're willing to stand principled. And because you're willing to do that, you're willing to suffer. Whatever that looks like. Could be physical suffering. Could be financial suffering. Could be persecution. Could be, you know, just... Uh, relationships, friendships, family, those things are uh, because you want to stay principled and you're not willing to compromise, uh, there can be division there. It's not the easy thing, but because you're willing to be principled, those things, those things happen. Such a lie to believe Doing the easy thing is the right thing. Since when did doing that which is good and right and just, regardless of all else, become the thing we shy away from? We, me, you, I, I don't know. Apply it to yourself. Are you, are you doing things today just to to, to not have to suffer loss on some front, to not have to suffer pushback on some front? Are you willing to compromise maybe because you don't have anything solidified and codified with this is what I believe, this is the, this is the, this is the line I'm going to draw in the sand and it's not moving, this is the hill I'm willing to die on? Do you have one of those? Or are you willing to fall in the pit with the majority? Since when did doing something that is hard, uncomfortable, because you want to stay principled, walk in righteousness, do that which is good and holy and acceptable to God, become the very thing people want to shy away from. Another thing, if you say you're a Christian and you want to, that means you don't want to just follow him. That means to be a Christian is to be being Christ-like. So Christian, if you want to practice that, if you want to do that, if 
you can, uh, if you want to walk in that calling, well, how did Christ walk? Was he not ridiculed, ostracized, persecuted, tortured, murdered? I'm just saying, to be a, a friend of the world is enmity toward God. We're told to love not the world, the whole world system, not to be conformed to the patterns of this world. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It may prove that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What's the perfect and acceptable will of God? That's to look more like Christ. So are you willing to do the hard things? The uneasy things, the uncomfortable things. And to suffer in those things if they're if if that's that's what it is. Because it's the right thing. Think about it.